With me now is Allie Jabor, and she is in charge of the Girlfriends Club. How are you? Oh, it's so great to be back, Donna. Thank you for having me. So you are the founder of this. Yes, Tell I am. Tell us what that is. Well, like I said, when, when, when did I visit you? A few months ago? Yeah, I, I guess over the summer. So I'm really excited to say that I'm nearing 30,000 in my community. Wow. So I have 30,000 girlfriends in my community on Facebook, and every single day I'm inspired by each and every one of them. The amount of women that reach out to me and ask me questions or, or interact with each other, it's so humbling. I mean, I, I really, really... Um, am inspired and it gives me the opportunity every day to have a, a voice um, in the girlfriend community. Now in the girlfriend community, the one piece of success that I think you've always had is that you consistently post something at the same time every day. So those that need a little pick me up are getting it from you. Absolutely, and they know it's 6 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> my post goes up. But I did a test this okay. past week. I ran, I actually posted three in one day, just okay. to see, like, would, would it change the numbers? How would it affect it? No, it really, they all did really well, which is really cool. But that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to give um, all the women out there a little nibble, like if you need a hug. And like I had explained back um, when we first met, the Girlfriends Club was created because I'm surrounded by a whole gaggle of girlfriends, and I was born into a sisterhood of, of sisters, five sisters. And I realized that not every woman has a girlfriend. So yeah. I wanted to be that girlfriend to everyone. And it's turned out to be so incredibly um, giving on, on everyone's end, you know. And a couple of months ago, a woman approached me and she said, Allie, I'm going through a really rough time. I served my husband with divorce papers. And she's like, I just want to can, do you have some girlfriend time? And I'm like, sure. Well, I was able to walk her through this and she and her husband reconciled. It's like, I was it's, like, I, when I you shared that, I know. When you, know, you had shared that, that to me on the phone, I said to myself, I was like, you know what? Good for you. Because that is such a rare, you know, you didn't just go in and you, you were really her girlfriend. Yeah. You didn't just go in and be like, okay, well, this is what I did when I got divorced. I, I, I bought new underwear. You know, I did this, I did that, I did this. I charged up on the, ch whatever, whatever it was that you did for your survival mode. But you went in and you listened and you cared enough yeah. to really try to help her. And I didn't think that I was doing anything except just girlfriending and just giving my advice because right. she asked for it. So I think that's taken me into a whole other perspective Good. as far as my girlfriend community. So um, along with doing some one on one -ing, um, I've also launched some live events. I did my first one uh, this past fall. And I'm coming sold up out. another one. Yep, totally sold Great. out. The next one's coming up in March. And I have a wonderful partner, which if everybody can see here, yes. I have all these amazing wines. So Theme Nights Wines um, ha had approached me and um, they have this wonderful label, Ladies Night. So they're gonna be handing out the swag bag of wine um, at my event. The thing that's really different is that it's not only fun, but the wine really tastes good. So I encourage you um, to go onto my, <laughs> my, my Girlfriends Club page on Facebook where I'll, I will be promoting the wine and letting you know where you can uh, buy it. I know it's available in the tri-state area of New York, um, but you can also you know, reach out to them. But it's it's fun because they also have other themes like pizza night wine, our oh. night wine, celebrate wine, um, summer night wine. You know, it's all it's all good stuff. So aside from whining, yes. um, we're girlfriending. Yes. And, and, and that's the other thing, Donna. You know, you have this incredible brand and you have always been so generous to your girlfriends. Thank you. And to the community. Thank you. And I applaud you for that. I mean, you don't, you know, people forget you know you are a human being <laughs> and you girlfriend and and you take the time for people but I you know I, I want to give that back to you I, appreciate I want that. you to be um, available to do one of my live events because I, I that. think that the girlfriend community would really enjoy and be inspired by your journey I appreciate because that. you too have had an incredible journey of love of luck of sadness you know, you've, you've, you've carried every single flag I and you've done that. it well. 
I appreciate that. See, I'm switching the, the conversation. I know. Around, so is like, it okay if I introduce And I start getting <laughs> super humble. Uh, I'm super no, shy. But, it's the truth, but this but, is what. This but you're is what right. I have been, is. Right. I've been. I've been single. I've been a single mom. I was divorced. I was widowed. I've. I've. You know, business wise, you know, because we're really girlfriends. Yeah. We've had. A, I've had a lot of tri trials and tribulations and challenges. And I think what I love about the show is that I do have the opportunity to celebrate life. And I do have the ability and the platform to share with my friends and to, to um, applaud them for their new businesses that they're starting and so many great things in life, you know, and that's what the show is all about. It's about living it up. That's right. So this event that you have, um, there's also like a fashion component, the one that's coming well, up. Yes. Yeah, so Theory is my partner. Okay. And so they are a beautiful retailer. They, they provide the space and all the beautiful fashions around it. And we'll host about 75 women. The conversation will be surrounded um, about... Um, the topic of communication and the guest uh, sitting in my chair will be Jane Hansen. Oh, I love her. And Jane's going to be talking about how to have your best face forward. Perfect. Your best face because she was on television for so many years and how um, in today's world, everything's a picture. Mm. So how do you get your best face forward? I like so that. So that's going to be the conversation and, uh, and I'm really excited. And, and Theory has been incredibly giving and welcoming and um, we're our, our brands align. Perfect. And that's important. And so you're a mom, you're a girlfriend, a <laughs> uh, you have a, a, a job, job, you know, yes, I, this is my side hustle, right? I have a leadership position, um, on Long Island, which I'm so proud of to be, uh, joining another fabulous female leader like yourself. And, um, it keeps me very busy. My kids keep me very grounded and, um, it's, it's just life. It's, it's a complete journey. We are always here to help uh, celebrate you Thank and you. wish you all the best success. And um, Theme Night Wines. Theme Night Wines. And girlfriendsclub.com. Excellent. Okay. Allie, thank you so thank you, Donna. much. All right. Stay tuned for more. We'd love to hear about how you celebrate life with your girlfriends. Keep writing to us. You can reach us at info at liveituptvshow.com. You know, you know all my socials. You know my Donna Drake TV, my Instagram, everything. So stay tuned and keep, we want to keep hearing your stories. We love them. Be well.